What date is this? Today is the 26th of July 2015, okay. on a Saturday, in Auckland, New Zealand. <laughs> so, um, here with... Oh, oh, no, no, I need to do the introduction. Okay, here we go. Good day, everyone. This is Dr. Gino Dean, the founder of the Universal Telesis 6 Institute. I'm here in Auckland, New Zealand, uh, to do a series of documentary with the Moai history, uh, all the way from Easter Island, at New Zealand, and also to England. I have as our guest, uh, King John Wanoa. He is the royal descendant of the Moai Hapu, which originated in Easter Island and migrated to New Zealand between the dates of 300 AD and 900 AD. Um, it was officially recognized that the Napui uh, Tahitian arrived in New Zealand at 900 AD. Um, he also, King John Wanua is a founder of the Moai Powerhouse Group, and he also is a Moai historian of New Zealand. I would like to uh, ask King John uh, the significance of this location that we're at on July 26, 2015. We're at 1 Bar 61 Cook Street in Auckland, New Zealand under the Sky Tower. And uh, John, could you please uh, share with us the significance of this and what you were charged with by the Confederation of Maori Chiefs and the date you were given this charge and okay. purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, uh, I'm John. Uh, as a surrogate King William uh, the Fourth uh, spokesperson, uh, on behalf of our uh, Confederation of Chiefs, have given me the consent and authority to speak to the land of the Hapu here in uh, New Zealand. Uh, at that time the waka was uh, Aotea, one of the seven wakas, and so we are, uh, Aotea was here in 1100 AD. So between 911 AD, 1100 AD, Kube was the recognised chief by the British and also the colonial government in uh, New South Wales and New Zealand, the uh, uh, government in exile. For the meantime, the uh, Hapu has supposed to be uh, uh, in charge of the uh, self-government under the section 71 of the uh, uh, Constitution, 1852. So that hasn't uh, uh, happened. Uh, so far to date, they have been uh, trying uh, uh, for so long to put the land titles together into their own self-government uh, Maori government and confederation uh, uh, state. Uh, so we're here on uh, 1 Bar 61 Cook Street in Auckland, uh, uh, New Zealand. Uh, that's, uh, the uh, land is in question uh, of dispute uh, with the, uh, the uh, land owners, the hapu, and the uh, Crown uh, Government of Wellington, which is the Queen's uh, Bench uh, title of uh, mortgage lands. Uh, so those, those, that's one title, the Queen on this side, and the King on this side, uh, King William IV, 1835, Declaration of Independence, which is what I'm applying straight to Britain, while the incorporations here with the Hapus are doing the Queen and protecting their interests on their lands with the 1840 Treaty of Waitangi and also their own native titles, that is that including this one. So this is a model of the whole country under the hapus of the incorporations which had the license under their 1993 uh, uh, Maryland Act uh, which gives them the license to run, run themselves as well as the government has their right to run themselves as well with the same law. So I'm charged uh, with the duty or the authority from the uh, chiefs of the Confederation who have died now and left me all the information, including the original titles here of Auckland, these lands were gifted, and a lot of lands in this country was, uh, 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 was gifted. And, and John, could you please uh, let us know what that year and date you were charged by the Confederation of Maori Chiefs? That was in 2008, 
Uh, just before the Lisbon Treaty was signed in 2008, 2009, where our documents lead off into where it is now, and uh, the controversy with title and interest, financial interest in these lands. That we have a native title on the bottom, which is the hapu, then you have a layer of titles on top, which is the mortgage layers on, on, of financial interests, the interest of stack up, which is in question now why I'm here, because there has been uh, mysterious fraud or whatever that have affected the use of occupation of the titles. Uh, uh, if that's challenged in the courts of um, uh, any, any um, uh, misdealings uh, that the hapu didn't know about. I'm here uh, to uh, 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 bring out uh, that legal document uh, that the uh, uh, Pope has destroyed. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later. Yes, we'll talk about that. If yeah. you could give us uh, specifics of the size of this block of okay. land so, and the plans for it before you uh, were given that charge okay. to so expose the, the fraud. This, this here is a 2.47 2 hectare uh, block of land that has not been developed since 2008. They have sold on sold it twice with a crooked title, with a, uh, 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 with a not clear title because of interest with the uh, hapu, supposed to have their names, the original names, on their Lynn's Australian New Zealand Government titles. They failed to put our names on as the original owners and skipped it to other uh, pseudo names that they chose under the government in Wellington. And who is they? Could you be specific they is who's the they? the government, John Key, Prison Prime Minister, okay. and his cabinet, government in, in, in Wellington, uh, uh, acting as a, uh, a government exile to New South Wales, Queen Victoria title. So the Queen Victoria title is the Queen, the King, uh, William IV, creator of the title, and the mortgage, and the bank loans, and the money, pound note, is the, the, the chief of the confederation tribes. Okay, so king, queen, queen, Australia, land information titles that are here present now at the moment. The king hasn't got any titles. They have silenced them. When you go to the courts, there's a king's bench court. They took the judge out and left the queen's bench court to collect the money for the king. Okay, and, and we'll, we'll get to that, but I, I want to put a little understanding why this block of land, which is one bar Street, 61 Cook, Cook one bar, 61 Cook Street, is significant, uh, recognizes pretty much the cornerstone of the house of cards that you uh, yeah. intend to bring down. But I, you shared with me prior to our interview uh, what the Confederation of Chiefs attempted to do uh, in regards to saving their land uh, with the Sky Tower and that failure. So if you could just kind of put that um, precedence and now why this piece of land is key and significant and how it will impact millions and millions of acres throughout the world. Okay, so first of all, this title here is one of uh, the Queen's 66 million acres of land that she says she owns. And so we're saying, oh, hang on, the Hapu, the chiefs, have their own title. She has her own title, which is only a financial interest, not the crown itself. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm responsible, being real estate, to do land titles and identify the, the uh, title itself and who stuck to it, who, who, who transferred from who to who. So all I'm doing is making them accountable for uh, their transaction and using the security of interest over a native title. I'm, I'm, I want to make sure the native title has its own uh, own historic memorial to it. In, 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 in mortgage lands, you have to have a memorial and you have to have a, a, an origination of, of who you bought it off, and that's missing in a British title or king title. It's, they took it out and put their ones there, uh, which has is, which is confused people. And so with this land, it's, it's going to uh, set a precedent for the rest of the whole Commonwealth, for the whole of the state, for the whole of the, the, the uh, uh, land in the world with the Queen's head on it and her signature or her uh, documents with her stamp on it above the 
judge's head on the police bench, all of those equates to her interest in our contract with the Treaty of Waitangi 1840. That's her connection with the obelisk, with her, uh, her title, uh, uh, two of her documents. The other title is the King with his uh, agreement with the Chief Confederation uh, as being uh, the one I'm talking about. Uh, to, that's been put away in the cover. So with this land supposed to be in, developed in 2008, they found difficulty because I was stopping them from developing if they didn't show me the title of where, who they got it So when the beginning of the titles were the Australian uh, 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 came here and sold land they had no authority from a sovereign in Australia that the British gave, they were not supposed to come here and sell these lands. And so the government says, no, we'll take them off you and redistribute it with authority from Britain straight here. And so the two sovereignties, the sovereignty of the government of Wellington, and the sovereignty of the, the Australian government operating their government in exile here, the Hapu had the right to administer these lands with their own sovereignty, which is what they've been trying to do for a long time under the King William flag. So the flag itself has priority as, uh, 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 as uh, 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 authority over any other title, if they can prove it. Well, and can you, historical perspective, uh, I know you were charged in 2008 by the Confederation of Chiefs, but if you could uh, take us back to when they attempted to save the, their land and title before the Sky Tower, what what year or date and how they okay. that failed? Okay, when did, when they had difficulty buying the land to put the Sky Tower up. At that time, the chiefs were having meetings uh, to stop them because the land was shaking. Uh, it's supposed to go up in another, on Simon Street, up the other way. That's where they were going to put the Sky Tower. But they chose this one because the ground was Who, Who's solid. they? The uh, council with the consent to, to give them a permit for the developers to, to build. Okay. The ground was solid here, but shaky up in Simon Street. So, You're talking about earthquake fault shaky? Uh, oh, no, the structure of, of the ground itself. Oh, okay. It's, the geological. Yeah, the geological, the rock. Formation. The rock, because okay. uh, it's reclaimed land up in Simon Street where the graves are. Oh. And so they, they, they shifted the graves. They, and the ground is, is not solid because okay. they shifted the graves. They okay. dug all the graves out and put their European and British grave sites there. They took the Maori graves out of there. We're going up to One Tree Hill after they dug those ones out too and put John Campbell okay. up there as their chief on the highest point and the highest point in, in Simon Street. That's why they didn't put that sky tower there. That was in the year 2008, 2009. The same year I put the notice on them about building that. But they went ahead anyway because it was the chiefs in charge. Now they're gone. But they, um, they failed their attempt to save that land before yeah, the sky tower. Yeah, they failed their attempt because they so, didn't have all the documents that have got. Right, the, the real estate uh, and the uh, uh, origination of who's the owner. They they played on the, the crown, uh, the crown, which is the government one. There's several crowns: the crown of New Zealand, the crown of England, the crown of Russia, the crown of all the dragon parliaments. They uh, they said no, we're, we're going ahead, and the chiefs uh, had no power over legislative acts of parliament even though they had the legislative acts of King William. They just didn't know how to put it together to keep them off. Now I've got in a position to do that. So you were charged after the failure to save yeah. the land from Sky Tower. The Confederation of Chiefs charged you in 2008 yes. because of your mortgage and yes. uh, expertise in real estate. You were charged and then they gave you the documentation yeah. to legally do that. So you are, actually have filed yes. cases regarding to stop any development. And what are the plans to develop this block of land? So here, uh, that's what they asked me to, these people here said, what are you going to do there? So we've got plans to put up the, the original plans of the uh, 113 stories. 113 stories of yeah, what? Of uh, high-rise uh, supermarkets, offices, oh, uh, and so uh, 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 on the top they've got pit houses. Oh, so you're going to take the developer's original plans yeah. to develop it. So yeah. you're not blocking no, the developer no, no, no. whatsoever. They have a problem from when I told them not to build because they'll lose it. 
that's why it's sitting like this ever since 2008. Okay? Because I had, I went to the original first owner, which was a backroom deal with the council, uh, 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 and I can name names if I want to, but it's already online. That person got into trouble developing too many land up in the Gulf Harbour, and he was mixed up with another guy in Australia, Sydney, uh, trying to develop this land. I said, you're losing, because you're, where's your title? They couldn't produce a title. Right until now, why I'm here today is to reiterate back to that original uh, uh, notice to challenge their titles with the British title. So I'm challenging that man to build a, a project which has got an e-mark. Then it was 1.3 billion to build that. Now it's more like... To, when you say build that, it's build, going build, to be a hotel, build, high yeah, rise... Yeah, the whole complex, it's online, the plans. Uh, there that they put it. They were pre-selling and couldn't fill their sales to, so they stopped, right? So, and they had the problem with me, legal, with my lawyers. The, uh, the, the, the lawyers and the native lawyers uh, to stop any development there. It's a different story now because the new owners are not developers. They're just car park people and, they, and they're on, gonna on sell it. Nobody wants to touch it. The Chinese, what happened when they bought it? Who's they? The owners here now. Okay. The two owners. The parking. The parking. Yeah. Owners. The parking okay. uh, 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 in Auckland. They've got business in Auckland, Wellington, Christchurch. Okay. All the car park. So they, the, the Chinese wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't buy it because these guys bought it for 38 million. It's worth, the government valuation is 58 million. So something's wrong. When that happens, the Chinese got to pay 80 million and still got it. But they got stopped. Did you say 80 million or yeah. 18 million? 80. 80, 80, yeah. zero. The Chinese would pay 80 million for that because of the location. Right. But the 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 last owner uh, who I've got a, a, a claim against, he got rid of it. He didn't know. He didn't care what they sold it for. So so he bought it for 38 million. He, he sold it for 38 million at auction. So he, he just wanted to get out of it. And he, he was the developer for the. Yeah, he was a developer. So he put the plan together for the. 13 stories, the uh -huh. first owner, I mean right. the second owner, the first owner went bankrupt, the second owner came and bought it while it was still under dispute with me and the okay. Confederation. So the second owner got rid of it at auction for the same price as what he bought it for and the government valuation then was 58 million. So the Chinese were at the, at the auction, were told don't touch it, right? I was dead. Okay. So they wouldn't touch it, they wanted to just I'm selling to a Kiwi, to, to a New Zealander, and not to a foreigner, because it's got a problem. It's got a problem with its title. Uh -huh. with, with, with two titles, British and, and the New Zealand government, Australia. Okay? So they've got a problem with me holding the Confederation title, straight to England, the original title. So you have in your possession yeah. the original yeah. Confederation title yeah. with England. Yes, and that's what people uh, uh, no, but don't know how it works. They, they do not know the ins and outs of, of the Manukau title. The Manukau, uh, uh, we're going to Wonsley Hill, the car flew title with the flat that I, I showed you. Yes, we're, we're going to go up. there next, so we're we'll gonna, document that. We're going to film that title that is in question. They took it off, the original, and put it in the cupboard, and then they put their Maori iwi tribes leaders in there. So what you're more or less saying, it's a kind of a title shell game. Yeah. So there's a lot of moving titles and, and yeah. uh, so anyone yeah. that wants to purchase it really doesn't have their that's, original title. Yes, yeah, because they won by a, a, a title that's not clear okay. because it's got a it's got, uh, problem in it. So the first owner had a problem with me of, of the title when he went bankrupt. I said the bank, that title is, 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 is um, corrupted okay. and so they sold it anyway after giving notice. So the second one saw the problem and he got rid of it. So that was never disclosed in the sales? No. no. Oh, so no, that was fraud. Was not there's fraud stuff. in itself. Yep. The whole they, they, layer is, is suspect with a, a uh, corrupted uh, transfer. So this... The land transfer. Yeah, so this present owner bought it without being... Uh, told. To, it, it was it, not disclosed in the sale. Yeah. It was not even described. in auction. It, wasn't it had a financial interest with them. It had a native interest with us. Uh -huh. 
So they, they only occupying the land with a certificate paper. Okay? We are here, there, when they created a King William title of Admiralty, Admiralty's mortgage, Leon. So they put a Leon on it and that's how it started. Okay? So they've, they've transferred that Leon with a problem all the way through. Everything is subjected to the first problem in the first place on record. In England, in the High Court of Admiralty, Judge David Lindsay Mackey has got that first complaint that we put in there ready for court here. So that, 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 that is prime land in Auckland and the Sky Tower was wanting this land for them that they put a tunnel through. Oh, the Sky yeah, Tower. Yeah, they, they would have paid more for it. Wants this block of land yes, to expand. It, it, they put a tunnel through here and put the other hotels here. So yeah. they walked away from it, you see. Oh, they so walked away. Everybody walked away because I warned them, don't touch it. Because okay. we have the uh, uh, corrupted title uh, to, 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 to address. It's not got our name on it. They are supposed to, by law, under the uh, 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 1952 uh, land transfer, they are supposed to insert our names, even though we didn't have a financial interest, they had to put our names on their titles as being where it came from. Now, they can't prove where it came from because they said, oh, the Crown gifted it and it was everybody's. No, it had an original native. So that's the part that they've omitted deliberately omitted the name of Kafaru and Manukau especially. Manukau City, Manukau Harbour, Manukau everything. That name, brand name, sticks to this land. Okay. okay? Yes. Yeah, so, yes. no, thank you for uh, putting it more in a conceptual understanding. So because of the failure to save the land before the Sky Tower, this is the, the second big piece of the puzzle to, uh, for you to be charged to save this. Yes. So you have the present documentation, yes. and now why this one bar, 61 Cook Street, is considered kind of the cornerstone. Yes. If you're successful uh, in your trip to London, we'll go into that, but if you're successful with that, then it'll, it'll reveal the whole house of cards yes, yes. under these fraudulent titles. Un under the instruments of legal uh, 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 value. Of, of bank loans. Everything had to come from a bank to use the land as collateral uh, as, as their financial interest. They have financial interest, these people in the land. It's suspected now. They stand to lose it because they ignored a, 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 a basic law in the uh, 1993 Act, the uh, Land Transfer Act, that says the conveyancing lawyer has supposed to let them know who the original owners and put them in there. We tried to tell them, put these names in their title and that's it. Because they wouldn't, because we, we can put a, 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 a lien on it from selling. They sold it. They sold it and that's the offence. That is now uh, attributed to our claim against them directly to England. So we, we don't have to go to we got that what it's set up online. Okay. Anybody. But when you no, I want you to, I want to take it to. I know you're going to London, but when you say they, can you be more specific of who they? Okay. Is? The so so your plan is you're going to start here at uh, one bar, sixty one Cook Street, and your plan is to go to London. Yes. And you have documents already yes. filed. So could you say what exactly okay. court and. Uh, your whole plan. Okay, so if we, we'll go back to where it all started. We have to go back to the beginning because they put our flag, the Federation flag of Authority of Land, in the cabinet. In the cabinet and so we have to go back and legalise, legalise it back in England uh, on King William's land, Devonport in England, and Devonport here over the shore of Norway. Okay, King William's land, his land, is that where he, he resided? His... No, that's his estate. For the king's uh, 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 price possessions of what he picked up uh, using his admiralty mortgage uh, 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 loans, liens, bank loans, and, and whatnot to acquire land all over the world. Okay, so, so this is Devonport. Devonport. Devonport, Devonport is and, the and king's estate. King estate. Yeah, that's Port. where everybody migrated to come here and, and around the world where King George III set up 
Admiralty, his Admiralty, but not the mortgages. Only King William IV put the mortgages together. That is the problem here. Okay, because the Queen switched it. And Queen, Queen Victoria switched it uh, with the Rothschild banks to make their their loans work here as a model for the rest of the world because they could not do the titles like this and the tree over there, the hill over there, the river there, and mark it in a small country as their model for the rest of the native titles, which they compromised. Now, 1993 Te Tūtua Māori Land Act through Canada, Australia, and the Commonwealth, and Britain, uh, and America. So the Obama's using our native title in the modern time for their new books. And now the Pope's gone across the way. Oh, well, yeah, we're not, we're not going to just get to the Pope yet. Okay. Yeah. But uh, what you're saying, which is why it's so significant, because it was the beginning actually happened with the mortgages through King William yeah. in New Zealand. So everything is modeled after the original mortgages of King right. William that's here right. in New Zealand. Yeah. So that's, that, that, will so. Go, that will affect every mortgage with the Queen head on, the Queen Victoria head. And the, and, and the Queen Elizabeth head, and the King on this side, and the Queen on this side. It will affect every land after this one. And it's a 66 Western. million... 66 million acres of land okay. is now suspect okay. of title. So, what, you'll be going to London. Uh, could you please tell us the, the court? Uh, not only will you be going to King William's estate in Devonport and put the flag, flag and can you explain the significance of the flag? Okay, so the flag will connect us up here to well, the Hapu Chief. And can you say what the flag is? The, the flag King is William the 1835 flag. of Philip Bay. Everybody knows the flag. But that's the uh, 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, uh, sovereign. Uh, 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 Trading, uh, international trading, uh, bank, uh, uh, commercial trading uh, through the world. Fitness. That flag uh, is, is got its power put away so that they can put the Union Jack back there in 1901 in Australia, 1902 in New Zealand. That's when the commercial part of that flag started, but it does not have a commercial bank loan text. It's only a native in the sea, 200 miles out or shore. That's stepped under the land, put a bar on the, on the shoreline, and put their uh, dock box to put the people in there to fight. Okay? So that's how they bought their flag off, off, off the ship and the mast at Waitangi, on the Marae, Waitangi Marae, and stuck the pole there. They put the British flag on this, yeah. and put the British flag, and the Confederation flag here, and the Union Jack on the top. Now John King wants to change the top flag and put something else there that got no connection to the original vision. So it's a brand new, it has no sovereignty, no monarchy, no nothing. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting our flag up at the top at Waikoli by going to put it up in Devonport, where everybody emigrated around the world from there in that period of time, 1830 to 1837, of the acts of Christmas Parliament under that team to sail around the world under the flag. To pick up the gold from there or whatever and transport it to any country in the world. And we have that right. We haven't even used it. But our people parked theirs up and went to theirs. Okay. So what you have with the King William flag, you have the right of the Admiralty law as well. So yes. with you going to England, you're reclaiming uh, with the King William almost a surrogate king uh, as well. Uh, so once you put that flag, you're off the King William flag on his estate, and the next thing you'll be going to court? Uh, this is how it works. I'm going there to raise the flag to make it legal. Make it legal in our admiralty, because the Pope is getting rid of his admiralty and his corporation, but ours exists, because it, it, it's not reclaiming it. It's still there. It has not been changed because we are the only ones that can this the and change the whistle of power. Because it's fixed as an agreement, as a contract, a commercial contract with that flag, given to us as a commercial contract here to there. Nobody else's business because it's private. Okay? The Queen has got a private business. And that's why no one can touch her. The Pope has a private business. And also the Rothschild has a private business. You can't go in it. So we are the same. 
they can't come into our country. They come into third party. The third party policeman came in here and went between me and the landowner and stopped it. Stopped me from going in there and the lawyers couldn't do anything about it. The landowners couldn't do it because they had no documents to support their fight. That's why the policeman stepped in. He's in trouble. He's in trouble. After the 23rd, he's really in trouble. Yeah, we'll go into more specifics with the Pope and the recent, uh, uh, what he's playing. I think we'll, we'll go to another location for that. Yes. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll sit down uh, and get more in depth because it's a whole other layer to this story. Yes. So could you just say what you're uh, planning on doing once you break the flag at King Williams, Devonport, at State? You plan to go to the Royal Court? The Royal Court. Royal Court of Justice and the Common Law Court. We're going to set it up in Debbie on his estate land so that those people there uh, are immune. No, when you say those people, I don't know. In Plymouth and Debbie okay. in the county, uh, because this is what happened. The Queen uh, took the sovereignty and resold it uh, to the EU Parliament, Scotland, Ireland, England, Wales but left Hanover alone. That's King William's title. So I'm using the King Han Hanover in Timbor to use his authority, direct it here and liven it up. It, it's still there, but we had to stand here and put it up, put the flag up, then go to Westminster and report our position in Westminster where it was on. We're now going uh, 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 change the trustee, the head trustee of the uh, Queen Victoria Trust, which is Queen Elizabeth, Two. She has skipped it to the EU Parliament, Brussels, and as far as I can see, cleans out the ancient treasury and our trust funds. I'm going to get the audit, the same title there as this, and take this over there at the same time. And this one here is just no different than any other title in the EU. But those people know that now because they've had plenty of time to see all the documents of what to do, how to do it, and this is the only way, the key. The Queen is, uh, is uh, on shaky ground with people over uh, there, and the king is solid with the memorial of King William and the Moai statue in London in the Queen Elizabeth II Great Court. That's our memorial to Tahiti and Tugay and all the rest of the tribes. Yes, and we're going to have Just another. Just let them know I'm here for them and not for myself, but they, you must have that inner flag. Inner flag. The flag. You must have these three things in your life. A flag, a king, and a, uh, a, a declaration of some sort to your native tribe. So this is where this is going to shrink it from this. In the Western side, to here has been the original title given by the British as gifted them. Okay? So this, this, is, this is just one uh, 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 precedent. Uh, land equals the rest. So when this one goes, the rest goes. Quite to the well, uh, the same treatment because it's it's the king wants his the people's his people's uh, 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 wealth and lands and and their best to the rest of the So it's a house of cards of titles, the fraudulent titles that yeah, have been layered upon layers. Yeah, it's, it's, I, I'm going to, to ask them which is your authority from and your authority to do what you do to get all that money, but, and whose authority you get from A to B around the world. You'll always end up on England and the Fourth because there's the NAX. Nobody else has got X that do that. Right. And so I'm standing here talking for him because if you look like a king, sound like one, and act like one, you must be one. So I'm just saying I'm a, a king for now until we choose the right king in England that knows his place. He's sitting by, waiting. And all I have to do is talk for him until he takes over and I'm back with Okay, go back to my native lands. And uh, do, 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 do our business as it was then as it is now. Okay, so you already have initiated uh, with a particular judge in the royal court. It's yeah. already been uh, placed. Yeah, but he's got the documents. Okay, yeah. who's he? The, the he's Judge the David Lindsay Mackey. He's the oldest. Can you say his name on the floor? Judge David Lindsay Mackey. Okay. He's the oldest uh, senior judge with more titles to be a judge of the uh, 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 the, the uh, anyway, a number of courts, he can uh, uh, do the whole lot. 
to one shot. Okay, so you can the civil courts and all the rest. But courts will, the courts will understand uh, yeah, the, 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 the why we're going online to him. No, we don't have to go to his court. You don't have to be physically. No. You've already submitted. Yeah, the, online. The, 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 the Bronze Building Court in London is set up for two-hour cases. Uh, and uh, uh, from anywhere in the world. Anybody can do it and pay the judge at least 13000 to go straight to him. Anything over 300 million or more, we're going to do this. That's what he's interested in. Otherwise, you have to go to the front door. And your itinerary, you plan to depart Auckland, uh, uh, win, and head for London. Okay, we're, we're, we need to go in August before the 23rd of September. Between we're, August and, and yeah, but we need to raise the funds to go there to put the flag up. We're going to have to put the flag up in particular so that it becomes legal in our court uh, to apply and enforce our laws. And you will say the flag, you're talking about the King William The King William flag. Uh, uh, flag with the four stars in the corner and the eight pointed stars, one for Queen Victoria and seven for the Wakas in the Pacific. All of of the island, one each. And one for the native city. So that's a contact. That's a contact from four parts of the globe, northeast, southwest, of the four stars, and the Red Cross of King George, the King George uh, 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 the third of America, and that's the father of King William IV, King George IV, and Augustus, Ernest Augustus, three brothers, and that's the title I'm holding on to. They put the August, King, uh, Ernest August, and put him because. King William IV chose his niece, Victoria, ahead of his brother. So I'm putting his brother back in there with my niece. I'm going to mail the line, prevails in our Tahitian title. The Queen has changed the, the rules for her people in her domain uh, as being females and males. It didn't matter which way it goes. So be wary of how they apply their monarchy. And she's not there. She's, she's a threat to the British people by operating the business, the private business, uh, to, 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 uh, to uh, the EU Parliament over the British. Yes. And our, that's a threat to us. Here. Yeah, and we'll have a separate series yeah. on that. Just, so um, when you file this and it's a two hour hearing and you don't have to be there physically present. With the, with the judge's ruling, then you would be validating that the Confederation of Chiefs, of the, the Maori Chiefs and Moai Waka, um, would have right to this title. So in reclaiming this, the present owners would have to relinquish any ownership of that because it was never disclosed. Uh, so with the success of this, you're not going to be exposing the whole fraudulent, but what you're looking at is taking the original developer's plan for a 113-story uh, hotel combination retail. Um, so, what would so actually the Confederation of Chiefs would be the title owners? Now, are you looking for an investor to build it, or? Would it be the the, the Marty Chiefs would be doing it on No, no. Uh, put it this way. Uh, we've already set up a, a system of shares in the normal trust fashion of the My King William Trust. My King William Fourth Trust is the entity for here, so they have to join that and uh -huh. take ownership with everybody in the world. It's part ownership now the Queen of the Great Island World, even though she picked up. We, we, we don't want to know what she did with it, but we, we certainly want to look at the balance of the, what's missing in, in the treaty and, and in the, 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 the Victoria Trust. That's our interest, financial interest. And everything that she derived from that entity forms So uh, 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 I'm saying that uh, with what I've set up, uh, uh, they, they, they have to acknowledge that I've got the chief signatures from the, the, the ones that have died, the, the confederation chief, the original uh, but, uh, uh, founder. Yes, but who, who has to acknowledge the, the chief signature? You said they have to acknowledge Oh, the Hapus. The Hapus. Because the Hapus are acting in the Queen's side. The Queen's side. 
and the incorporations, which are now affected on, on, on that side, but we stand with King as being the uh, British. Okay. The British set up. So uh, they have to uh, wean themselves from that side to that side if they so wish. That's their decision. But the documents are quite different. Okay. So uh, for the people that are viewing, and this is maybe all new to them, if they want to support you, not only in your, your journey to London, and I think it's estimated about $150,000 for the filings and the, the, the trip there, um, but if they're also interested in providing common shares to yes. the development, uh, you know, what their shares could also help support the travel expenses and then the filing development. Yeah. Everything's in place. Everything that, that anybody has a financial stake interest in what we're doing become the shareholder owners in cooperative, not in corporation. Cooperatives own the whole business. Right through the world. Right through the King William says go around the world. That's right. Okay? Not just here. It's not just here, but this is what contract is. The contract is here, not anywhere else. It goes from here around the world. So this is a cooperative venture, cooperative and venture. people that believe in this and yep. shift, exposing the fraud um, that's not only originated here, yep. but around the world. And, but then they don't have to be Maori uh, no. in New no. Zealand or Moya, it's an original Easter Island or any indigenous group. It can be yep. anyone in the yep. world that believes in this cause and exposing and developing developing things that are going to benefit the community. And so you have to have beneficiaries and people that that you can't say one or two people are going to get everything for yourself. No, it not But uh, it affects everybody uh, who, who, who might uh, uh, lose something that they've worn, forewarned, that if it's, if it's a, 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 a title that's, uh, that's laced with um, the same virus that's gone through the world, then it, they have a right to go to court and we'll shorten up the courts. One court hearing equals the rest. And so they can go and put the claim in as a member state, uh, as a man, sorry, not state, as a member uh, state uh, ownership in, in the corporate by joining the shares. The shares belong to them. So this actually becomes a, not only a model, but it'll create a domino effect and then a template for others you know, throughout the world where the queen has 66 million acres throughout the world to be claimed yeah. that under the cooperative. Yeah. And the, it's under the umbrella of the Maui Powerhouse Group. The Maui Powerhouse The Maui, the Maui, Maui Powerhouse Group. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I think I think we've got the basic understanding of your being charged to uh, by the Confederation of Chiefs, yeah. uh, exposing the title. You've got all the documentation. Yeah. You've got things filed in London. Uh, we just wanted to document that this is the uh, one bar, 61 Cook Street in Auckland, that um, King John has uh, more or less stayed off any developers and owners exposing the fraud titles. Nothing was exposed because it was a original negative title to King William. And uh, we're going to go to different locations throughout Auckland and we'll continue this series, this documentation. So it's kind of a, a back to the future. We've got to start with the historical uh, documentation information to uh, be aware of what's actually happening uh, present and in the future and, and how you can be a part of it and uh, as a cooperative and invest in the sheriff's business. So King John, we want to thank you. I know you've been uh, a crusader in this and, and uh, sacrificed a lot, but it's now, you've got a whole series of your Facebook, your YouTube. We will archive this so people can follow the years that you've been dedicating yourself to this and now it's getting to the point, it's a critical uh, tipping point between August and September 23rd and we'll discuss the significance of that date uh, in regards to the Pope and the Queen. So thank you and we're going to say uh, goodbye uh, from One Bar 61 Cook Street in Auckland. As you can see, we're right under the Sky Tower. And do you have any final words before we go yes. on to our next uh, location? 
Yes, I, I'm here for the common people, the King's common people, and they uh, need to own this. They need to own it because it belongs to the people uh, that uh, the King was passionate about, but it went the other way. Uh, and so we bring it back into order uh, before hopefully someone else brings our order. So we'll order ourselves uh, and uh, at a fast enough state, uh, uh, speed uh, to get the information out. And, uh, so can you say that you're like a, the present day Robin Hood? <laughs> uh, no, I don't like that. No, uh, Maori people didn't shed that. They, 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 they I don't think it. Robin did Robin Hood. Yeah, yeah. yeah, he took it from there and gave it to them. But it sounds like that. Right. But I think it's the people's choice, the people's power that will make it work. So we need you to help us to help you to make this clear. Uh, uh, from this alternative uh, 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 way of seeing the new world or a new change. Be ready, we'll, we'll, we've got everything prepared for you. It's taken, it's taken 20 years to put this together. So it's just, you've got to get it for two minutes, flat, uh, and, and with some instructions. Yeah. And, and my role um, as founder of the Universal Intelligence Institute is, uh, you know, it is education. Uh, we know that knowledge is power. Uh, so we are documenting this. And to empower the people once they have an understanding of the whole historic, historical aspects of this and how it impacts us now in our present and future. And it is a collective endeavor um, that joining the forces, and, and it is for all people. Yeah. Um, King John has the title of king. Uh, he is representing the Moai uh, royalty, but it is only uh, royalty that can challenge, challenge the, royal. the royal monarchy. The but he is for all people. I just want to make that very clear. And the king to, to match. And, and the king to match. He's, we're playing a chess game, so please follow us along. We're going to have the pawns, the bishops, the knights, and the queen and king. It'll become clearer to you. It's kind of a Da Vinci Code, <laughs> boy style. <laughs> so it, uh, uh, just follow us along, and we'll help you connect the dots. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.